How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I want to share with you some news regarding the upcoming Scarlet and Violet expansion. We've now had some confirmation from the lovely people over at Poke Beach regarding the order and configuration of the booster packs. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you might remember, the Pokemon company previously announced certain changes to the upcoming Scarlet and Violet expansion, mainly the move away from the yellow borders to the silver borders, which in my eyes is a good plus. You also have the energy names now featured on the energy cards, and last but not least, the expansion symbol will now correspond to the Japanese symbol and not be like special symbols anymore, which is kind of sad, but you know. The most controversial change though at the time was the price increase for the booster packs from $3.99 to $4.49. And they said it pretty good here. In an effort to continue providing a positive Pokemon TCG experience and value, each pack of Pokemon cards will now feature three guaranteed foil cards per booster. Which does sound pretty good. And as I've said in the beginning, from the lovely people over at Poke Beach, we've now had some exclusive information how these packs would, would exactly look like and they're basically featured right here so the order these cards will be in you'll start off with four commons then you'll get three uncommons and then you get two reverse hollows and your hollow and then afterwards of course the the energy and a code card well not think about that Good thing is that you get two reverse holos and one holo. Reverse holos also have a different post up here, are basically these. Like this one. This is from a fun pack, like a, a little teaser, if you will. Actually, pretty nice. The most important thing to notice about these, these reverse cards, these cards right here, the illustration rare holo or art rare in Japanese, and the special illustration rare holo or secret art rare, in Japanese, they will take the spot of your second reverse. And then the spot of the hollow might be taken by, of course, just a normal hollow, a double rare hollow, which think like the CX cards or from older packs like like V Pokemon, your normal V Pokemon. And the hollow could also be an ultra rare hollow, or think of it like a secret rare in Japanese, or like textured V Pokemon, like full arts. And of course also full art trainers, and we can't forget about the golden secret wares. So essentially from what I can gather is, you can pull some pretty insane packs here. You could walk away, just, let's just think about Scarlet and Violet here for a second. You could pull the Miraidon EX in the reverse spot, and then ride next to it in a hollow like a full art trainer, like the, like the Penny. Or maybe the full art Miraidon EX. This, that is gonna be really, really interesting, and personally, I really like that change, honestly. They've also gotten rid of Rainbow Rare cards, which in my eyes is a huge plus as well. So no more, no more Rainbow Rare pulls, and I think this, this change is gonna be really interesting. And of course, because this is the, this is the order that the cards will come in, in a booster pack, you don't need to do the card trick anymore. You just pull out the code card, show to your viewers, and then maybe get rid of the energy, and then that's it. You don't have to have to like shuffle the cards around and everything like that. That is going to be a really interesting change, and I I quite like that. But I would love to hear what you have to think about this change. Do you like it, or would you prefer if they kept the old pack design? Uh, let me know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for more awesome content in the future. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace.